Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Titan adjustable channel down hydraulic drum brake actuator with the electric reverse lockout and it has a 12,500 pound gross towing weight capacity. Now this hydraulic actuator will activate your trailer's brakes when your tow vehicle slows or stops. Basically what happens is when you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, deceleration occurs and the momentum will push the trailer toward the rear of your vehicle. So with the surge brake system, the actuator is triggered as your trailer moves forward once the tow vehicle starts to slow down. So when that happens, this inner slide portion of the actuator will contract and it applies force to the master cylinder in the back here. So this in turn supplies the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage your trailer's brakes. This one is a unique roller design, has the roller right up here. This will reduce resistance during that telescoping to create nice straight line movement. Also, if you notice on the end of that roller, it does have a grease cirque fitting, which will allow you to attach a grease gun to it and then pump grease in there to lubricate it. This is a sturdy steel, durable steel construction, resists bending in any jackknife situations. We mentioned this one at the very back here. If you notice the wires, it does have an electric reverse lockout solenoid. This will let you back up without actuating your trailer brakes. Basically, that electric reverse lockout is automatically activated when you shift your tow vehicle into reverse. Basically the wires here will wire into your trailer connector which connects to your tow vehicle so that it can detect when you're in reverse. When it is in reverse this solenoid ensures that that hydraulic actuator does not activate the trailer's brakes thus allowing you to back up, back up the vehicle. Now because of the wiring here it will require this feature does require either a five-way flat six-way round or a seven-way trailer connector to connect it to. Also, if you notice, has this nice built-in shield over it, which will protect that solenoid valve from the elements and any damage. Up front, you'll notice, has this offset adjustable channel that goes in the down position, has five different mounting positions for your coupler. Now, the coupler's not included. We do sell that separately. And that built-in drop is great for use on tall trailers. The channel height on this, if we put a ruler on it, very bottom to the top, and we're at it 12 inches. The inside width of the channel is going to be right at 3 inches. Now the distance between these mounting holes, center to center, is 2 inches. So it does give you a range of 10 inches of vertical adjustment. Now if you notice, this does include, let me just unhook it here so we can show you but it will include this breakaway chain and hook that is included and it is required by law. Basically what this does is prevents a trailer runaway situation. So what you end up doing is taking the hook on this end and attaching that to your tow vehicle. And once that's attached to your tow vehicle then you're hooked up and you're towing, if by chance your trailer would become detached from your tow vehicle, it would pull this chain which would activate that lever, which would then activate the pressure in the master cylinder to apply the brakes and prevent a runaway situation. Again, it is included and it is required by law. <clears throat> now this does have a nice uh, zinc finish on it on the outer, on the whole unit. Gives you a nice protection, corrosion resistant protection. It is a bolt on installation. It is designed to mount a straight three inch wide trailer tongue. Again, the application, this is for trailers with drum brakes. Gross towing weight capacity on it is 12,500 pounds and the maximum tongue weight is 1,250 pounds. But that should do it for the review on this Titan adjustable channel down hydraulic drum brake actuator with the electric reverse lockout and a 12,500 pound gross towing weight capacity.